Um, you know about all our in-game features, you know, the fighting, the board play, the uh, after the scrums, the toughness, all the things it takes to win a hockey game. What you're going to see here are the uh, depth we're bringing to NHL 10. All the depth, all the breadth, everything, uh, you know, that our fans have been asking for for years. So, for us NHL 10, um, we're trying to be the orange box of sports games. You know, it's really important for us to have something for everyone. Uh, any way you want to play the game, you can play it. So, for example, we are a sports game. We have a fighting game in our sports game. We have our version of an MMO with our EA Sports Hockey League. 400,000 people played in that league, by the way, last year. Um, and we're an RPG. Last year we had our BF Pro. Uh, this year we're adding our BF GM. And that is putting you in the shoes of an NHL general manager. And we'll go through that in a little bit. Um, and adding lots of other modes that you'll see here. Something for everyone, something our fans have been asking for. That's the key. So, right here, Battle for the Cup. Um, this is the new Play Now. Play Now was sold last year. Um, Brian, you're sitting with your buddies on a Friday night drinking Cokes and Sprites, milk, yeah. and um, <laughs> you want to play a little bit. Well, now you sit there and you can play a one game, three game, five game, or seven game series for the Stanley Cup. Um, real fun, simple way to play for the Cup right away. Um, adds a whole new element to just competing with your buddies uh, sitting on the couch. Uh, so actually, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to load a uh, Battle for the Cup I had going just to show you some of the features in it. So it's its own series um, and I'm going to get to a game here. I have the Canadians versus the Ducks. So again, you can put any teams in here. Um, and in this case, I'll be a pretty good final, I think. Um, and in this case, um, we have some injuries. So stories are going on throughout the entire series. Um, as you play, there's going to be injuries. Even during the game, you're gonna, if you have a player who gets injured, your trainer will ask you, do you want to continue to play this player in this game, sit him on the bench, or actually sit him out and get him ready for maybe game two or game three, or even save him for game four or five. If you play a guy who's injured, um, I have three guys injured. If you play a guy who's injured, um, they're going to play with lower attributes. If a guy injured his knee or his ankle, his skating will be a bit slower. A guy injured his shoulder, his uh, shots will be a bit slower. So again, staying authentic to what would happen, a lot of times your best bet is to sit a guy and rest him. I'm sure most people will just play, play, play. That guy has a bigger chance of injury if you put him back in there already injured. Uh, you can cause that, cause some damage where he'll never come back in the series. Um, I'll show you. Okay, let's go in. And again, you, I saw the show the city three, but you could start any line. Um, so sometimes I'll start line four just to get my tough guys out there right away and set the tone for the game. Um, because we're talking to our gameplay features, you have the intimidation, you have all the things. Uh, if you win a fight, your line gets more energy. So you know we have all that and. Being tough can actually win you a game. Not every team has it, not every team needs to use it. Uh, but here's something interesting. Um, so every time into your playoff game, we have kind of a headline of what's going on in the series. So here, Getzlaff um, injured one of my players, and the storyline is, you know, will he, will we seek re retribution, retribution for that? Um, when Getzlaff touches the puck in uh, Montreal, the entire crowd will boo him every time he touches the puck, which is very realistic to hockey, as you see when you go to a game, um, whether it be the Sharks, the Wild, um, me growing up with the Islanders, you know, the fans are knowledgeable, and, you know, they boo guys right now, they boo Prong or everywhere he goes, but, you know, you're, they're gonna boo a guy who injured one of your players, which is really cool, and the question is, I can go after him and um, set the tone and get him back for what he's done to my team. And you know, we've already shown you know, what playoffs are like in our game. So the fans are waving towels, they're going crazy, they're banging on the glass, they're wearing jerseys of your team. In the playoffs, we just amp everything up by 100% and your team um, really feels that home ice advantage. Okay, so I'm not going to play right now, but you guys can play after uh, you like. Um, that's our Battle for the Cup mode, very cool way to just play a quick game for something instead of just a, an exhibition game. So now we'll go into some game modes. First playoff mode. 
So again, this is something our fans have been asking for for many years, um, and this is where you can play an entire playoffs um, with up to 16 teams, and you can play all 16 of these teams can be user controlled, so you can have some wicked series, wicked uh, playoffs going on. If you weren't happy that your favorite team didn't make the playoffs, well, substitute them in and play with them. If Milan wanted to play uh, with the Bruins playing Carolina again so they could win game seven, you can do that and have them go to the finals uh, or go to the semis uh, in that case. Second thing I want to show you is uh, for our new boats, besides Battle for the Cup, um, is our season mode. Now our fans have been asking for this for many years too. This is, uh, it's not um, as big and full as a dynasty mode, but it's a much simpler um, mode that takes place over the course of one season. The reason this is so important is because all 30 teams can be user controlled. And the reason that's important is, be, well, not only because you can have some really cool seasons with uh, all of your buddies, but um, with all 30 teams user controlled, you can control every team in the league. So a lot of our users want to mimic real life and want to uh, have the season go exactly like the real season goes. So now players get traded in real life or they get hurt or sent down or whatever it is, you just control all 30 teams exactly how you want it, mimic real life and play the games how you want to play it. Uh, the second thing there, and you can play anywhere in between one person and 30 players as well. Um, fantasy draft, that's another big thing um, our fans have been asking for. I can honestly tell you, if we didn't include fantasy draft this year, I'd be um, sent death threats and probably be mugged outside of our studio when, when I leave because our fans have wanted that for many years. And yeah, we're happy to give it back uh, to people. And that's something that's very interesting, very fun, especially if you have 30 users all doing a fantasy draft. Really cool way to play.